Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Covert Action Returns. When we last left off, we had this unknown building. Oh yes, we did. This is the, of course the location of Fred Goggle. We need to break in here and seize, seize the uh, helicopter part once again because I want to delay the case so I can pick up these double agents. And of course to delay the case, that means seizing property. Of course, that means doing it properly, of course. We need to use many, many, many items, such as our... Let's do a combination of grenades, shall we? Door number one seems good to me. Didn't suspect someone to be here so soon. Let's have a good disguise though, which is nice. He doesn't have it. Okay. That's something. With him not having that, that's... It gives us a bit of time. That's good. So that means the pilot is still in the other location. So we'll just leave. They may come and get me. They do. Okay, I'm, I'm okay with them coming to get me. It means I can clear the guards of no real problems. So let's just turn and turn again. This place is a little bit more complicated. But we'll do what we can. I guess we'll turn left now. It's, it's amazing how the driving game works. Right? It's like, yes, please catch me as soon as possible. Thank you. <laughs> It'd be interesting to see if you could actually learn how to do the, the car game properly. Although I imagine you'd have to listen to that noise of the UFO landing over and over and over, which would be a little bit disconcerting. <laughs> Let's crouch. Let's throw grenades. Let's throw another grenade. That was a good one. Doing good work so far. Four down. But only a single grenade left. Where are you? That's all the enemies defeated with no damage. And that's important. Anarchists defeated. This is also important. I'm going to check my data once again. I want to make sure I don't mess anything up. So the extractor... Right, okay. Because the extractor was released. That's why I was trying to go after the extractor. Okay. That's why I was there. And the good news is, I guess, that I cleared the alert level. Um, okay. I'm going to do a quick detour to the Mossad, and then I'm going to go back to the Anarchists. We can't afford to take damage. Uh, we're going to break in as soon as we take damage, we're moving, we're moving out. I didn't suspect this much damage. Because she has... She has over here that payoff, but there's so many guards, that's my concern. We have to be very quick here, I don't have any mistakes. Let's hide behind this filing cabinet. I could shoot him in the back, that'd be nice. Looks like that's not going to be happening today though. Let's go to this floor safe. Payoff now in Paris. Yeah, we knew that one. The payoff's right here in this room, actually. Well, building. Pilot now in London. Okay, so the pilot being in London, that's good. So we want to get in there and we want to kill everyone without taking any damage. Well, that's that's damage. Well, we have no more reason to be here. Let's just leave. Let's just go. Okay. So that was just a waste of time. Excellent. Off to a good start. <laughs> Alright, well, let's, let's spend some time in the hospital. Gotta give him a chance. So that's not gonna be practical. We're not gonna do that. Lesson learnt. Gonna go back to the anarchist though. Break in. We're gonna take the extractor and take him alive. Well, we take all of our prisoners alive, actually. <laughs> so he doesn't have the the helicopter pilot either. That being said, it could be worth attempting to find one of those floor safes once again. Let's go for door number one. I like so. We'll take his disguise. 
We'll make our way throughout the building. Now, I know there were many lounges here, but I believe there's one or two floor safes that we can investigate. Let's see. Lounges after lounges, so many lounges. You think they were bored of this much lounging around, but the answer is no. They can't get enough of the lounge experience. This guy can't get enough of following me either. Let's go around. Now there's this guy here. All right, uh, I'm just gonna look natural. Peering at the couch, like so. Of course, now the other guy's coming around. Come on, get out of there. Suppose I can head right in the meantime. This was the area of the desks. And this, I believe, on the right was the toilet area? No, just the penultimate area to the bathroom. Someone triggered the alarm? Well, that's okay. <laughs> what we're gonna do then is we're gonna place a booby trap here. Like so. Yeah. That'll give us some time. Let's take some photos. That is incriminating evidence which will turn Fred Goggle into a double agent. Indeed it will. This is good. And that floor safe had nothing, but it had what we needed. Let's take some cover behind this here sofa, shall we? That did slightly raise the alarm, though. <laughs> Felt good. Okay, yeah, people are realizing that something's going on. But we can sort of just lie low here until the until the alarm turns off, right? They don't know where things are. And they, they got they got distracted by the booby trap I set. Yes, that's excellent. Excellent. Now that guy's coming back. Let's leap back over the couch. Yeah, they, they they're clueless. I've outwitted these guards so hard. Oh yes. Even with the bullet wound I have, I'm still feeling smug. <laughs> All right. Let's just wait for things to settle down. And things have now settled. Now I'd, I'd like to make my way into the... into the area with the agent. Grab the extractor and get out. There's many guards in there though. Not anymore though. Let's now capture him. With his many, many... Many big misgivings. Let's take cover. Grenade that guy. Let's not gas ourselves. That seems like a bad call. Alright, we're gonna open this door and chuck a grenade through. And with swift timing, I was able to duck despite having thrown a grenade through the door. <laughs> well, we got him. Throw a goggle is, is recaptured. Excellent. We've accused him of taking part in the plot. We know there's the extractor. He agrees to become a double agent. He notifies us that he was here to do these things. Admits to all of his various meetings. Good job, Max. This Fred Goggle's a pretty important agent. Good thing you recaptured him. That's right, it is a very good thing that I captured him. So now we can leave. So there's two options. I could either go back to the Mossad and attempt to do the baiting trick to then go and get that payoff. I could go back to London to capture the... I could go back to London to try and recapture the pilot. That would also work. Okay, we do have some time. So who, once again, who's the kidnapper? The KGB. Yes, here we are. Are they still a bit aggro? No. No, they're, they're rather passive about their kidnapping. I could take a passive kidnapper any day. Well, the key, of course, is to make sure we take no damage whatsoever. Because that would be a concern, taking damage. So we don't need the camera, we do need the motion sensor. Let's take a variety of grenades, I think. And we're actually going to divide... Actually, we'll, we won't worry about the these grenades. We'll take the gas mask. And we'll divide door number two. 
because that's actually quite close to the enemy agent. And we just want to make sure that we do this in such a way that we are... that we're safe. We don't have any problems. In fact, we'll just pre-gas the room. Leap back over the desk. I'm going to gas this room as well, make sure I don't accidentally walk through it. Just throw, chuck a gas grenade in there and leap back over the desk. Just gas them. And look, they're all subdued, quiet, relaxed. This is the way it's supposed to be. Oh, someone's moving there. Let's loop back over here. You gonna fall over? You are gonna enter the room. You haven't seemed to have noticed that you've gassed yourself. <laughs> Hello? Do you realise that you're supposed to be gassed right now? I wonder if he realises. Nice, was able to get that kill and a disguise out of it. So far we're managing to be successfully sneaky. Let's now gas this room. So if he's going to come in here, I'm going to catch him. Oh, here's his, his gas. That's good. So many guards are being generated next to the next to the pilot. They're really anxious about these pilots. Wonder why. Yep, don't notice me. I'm just here, doing my own thing. I'll run up and capture you guys there. Yeah, like that. Feels good. So those guys are all over there. If they stay over there. I'm okay with that. This guy's not staying over there. Oh, he is now. I'll, I'll take you. Take your grenades. Thank you. I'll regas the room. <laughs> how, how long can I keep up the masquerade, eh? Oh, that guy's down. What about the next guy? Come on, man, make up your mind. Lots of gas, as it should be. Well, that room's ungassed. That's not so good. Oh, he's realised. Okay, we have to be careful now. No more messing around. That's a good grenade. In we go. Take out that guy there. So now I have to capture this pilot. That's good. Now the key is getting out alive. And I think a good timed grenade here. Will do good work. Oh, they're, they're following me. Quick. Why did so many happen out of nowhere? I don't get it. They're all stunned, let's quickly make our escape. While they're stunned. And we'll quickly throw a gas grenade as well to make sure this room stays gassed. And then maybe we can secure this pilot. Of course, the key was taking no damage. If we take any damage, then we go to the hospital instead of setting the pilot free. <laughs> okay, we quickly slip out the building. Good job, Max, you found the pilot. That should really slow down their operation. And that it should. Let's leave. That's good. Let's head back to the airport, shall we? Okay, when we come back next time, more covert action. Actually, we'll while well we'll do the flight first. So the first flight is going to be to Tripoli, I think, because Sarajevo and Tripoli. Oh no, Sarajevo. Let's head to Sarajevo. <laughs> Just so I can access the hotel. 
Anything happening in the meantime? No, we're good. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time right here at Conflux Games. <laughs>